continuing to cover the big breaking news this week, the unsealing of documents regarding Jeffrey Epstein and the list of names of people who associated with him. Now, once again, the name Prince Andrew has come back into the spotlight. I'm joined now by Josh Rom, royal journalist. Josh, uh, thank you for being with us here to break this all down. Now, you cover the royal family extensively. So I'd like you to start by giving our viewers kind of a clearer picture about who Prince Andrew is, what his place is in the monarchy, and sort of the scandal that he's been caught up in. Yes, so Prince Andrew, in terms of where he stands within the institution, Prince Andrew is the third child or the second son of Her Late Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. He is both the younger brother of uh, His Majesty the King, King Charles, as well as Princess Anne, the Princess Royal. He is the older brother, the elder brother of Prince Edward. In terms of lines of succession, Prince Andrew uh, comes below, um, of course, His Majesty the King, King Charles. He he uh, he then comes below Prince William, uh, the Prince of Wales, then below Prince William's um, own children, uh, Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis as well. So he's now quite low down in the line of succession when it comes to the... Um, to, 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 to when it comes to the institution as a whole. In terms of this scandal, um, of course, he was he was involved with Jeffrey Epstein to a personal extent. He was um, a trade envoy for the uh, for the United Kingdom. And, uh, you, you know, he previously had uh, a, a business relationship, as he kind of described it in the Newsnight interview, the BBC Newsnight interview with Emily Maitlis. Uh, he was pictured previously uh, with disgraced paedophile Jeffrey Epstein. They were pictured together in New York. Um, and and he he was he uh, even in the Newsnight interview that he gave with the BBC he says that he only really knew Epstein uh, alongside uh, because of his girlfriend uh, Ghislaine Maxwell who is now serving twenty years in federal prison for various charges of sex trafficking. Now he was previously pictured um, alongside Ghislaine Maxwell uh, with uh, Virginia Dufre. That is the um, the, the the woman who says that she was procured by Glenn Maxwell as part of the uh, sex ring, uh, the sex trafficking ring with Jeffrey Epstein. She previously sued Prince Andrew in court. They previously settled out of court for a reported sum that could be as high as £12 million. That is $15 million, up to 15, although various sources have, have reported that the figure is, 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 is lower than expected, could be as low as three million pounds. That was expected to be paid out by uh, Her Majesty the Queen or, or by his own, the royal family's own private funds to make the case go away. They didn't want it to go to court. They didn't want all the headlines, uh, but saying that, Prince Andrew uh, very much uh, disputes Virginia Dufresne's account of things. He he claims that he never even met Virginia Dufresne. Uh, Glenn Maxwell, her case uh, in 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 her case, uh, Glenn Maxwell says herself in these unsealed documents related to a defamation case uh, with Virginia Dufresne. She doesn't recall uh, Prince Andrew and Virginia Dufresne ever meeting. Virginia Dufresne claims that uh, she was forced to have sex with Prince Andrew in three different locations, in London, in Virginia Dufresne's apartment, in, uh, in Epstein's private island, as well as the New York uh, mansion, Epstein's mansion himself. Now, of course, Epstein was found dead in his uh, Manhattan cell uh, before he actually officially went to trial. Uh, the coroner uh, gave a verdict that the death was suicide. Um, but I think it's important to state that Prince Andrew um, and also Buckingham Palace both claim that her that Virginia Dufresne's claims were categorically untrue. They both uh, Prince Andrew denies any wrongdoing, especially any criminal wrongdoing. You know the royal family, of course, uh, Buckingham Palace saying denying it, as we expect them to do going forward. I mean, nobody wants to touch this case with a temper pole. You don't want to be found anywhere near it. 
That being said, Prince Andrew is not one of those names that is new to us when we take a look at the Jeffrey Epstein, Ghislaine Maxwell case. Uh, so the royal family, not going to be surprised that his name is a part of this uh, quote unquote list that has just been released this week. So have they said anything about these new documents that have just come to light? Are they kind of hanging back, keeping quiet? What's going on over there? Mm. Well, this list, when it comes to the names that are on this list, you know, we've also seen A-list stars like Leonardo DiCaprio, Stephen Hawking, and even Kate Blanchett mentioned in this list. But however, you know, all these documents don't actually allege any wrongdoing. They don't even allege any criminal wrongdoing with former President Bill Clinton, who's been mentioned as well extensively in this list. It's been reported he himself has been mentioned more times than Prince Andrew. In terms of new allegations, uh, you know, it, it, it's nothing that wasn't in, in the public domain before, you know, um, Virginia, Jane Doe 3, who some uh, websites are reporting have been has been identified as Virginia Dufre, has said in a, in the documents in her own testimony that Prince Andrew has uh, had sex with her in three different locations. You know, the, these aren't, aren't necessarily uh, allegations that are new. The, the sorts of allegations that are new uh, relate to uh, jo uh, to Joanna Schoberg um, in her testimony in May of 2016, alleging that Prince Andrew groped her using a puppet at the New York uh, at the New York mansion. So, so you know, there are sorts of fre some fresh allegations um, in terms of what's going on in the UK. Um, it just kind of this is a rehashing of of the scandal. You, you know, Prince Andrew, uh, the Queen previously stripped him of uh, military honours that was given to him. He he stepped back after this in the wake of the scandal as a working member of the royal family. You know, he only made appearances um, at the state funeral of Her Majesty the Queen. The um, on the, the, the platinum jubilee as as um you know as a as a private member of the royal family is just as a member of the royal family because although yes the royal family is an institution a public institution they undertake public engagements andrew yes he's no longer working member of the a working member of the royal family however he is still a member of the family he is still brother to the king he is still an uncle to the prince of wales the future king of england he's still a great uncle to prince george the the heir after prince william so you know he's still a, a member of the family which is why he's still appearing in engagements such as uh the walkabout uh when the royals at christmas time when they make their way into church at sandringham around christmas time um and they appear before the public that's very much they're, they're doing that not necessarily as public royals but they're doing that as a family so he's still appearing with the family however he is still not a member of the uh, uh, working member of the royal family and what this scandal emphasizes this scandal emphasizes the very low public opinion of prince andrew and that uh, there is absolutely no role for prince andrew in the future you know and any time prince william has been pictured with prince andrew in in just there in going into buckingham palace for family occasions you know it, it's been reported that prince william has been very hesitant to do so it's also been widely reported um, in the wake of these of, of this unsealing of these documents relating to the civil case against Glenn Max uh, against Glenn Maxwell filed by Virginia Dufre. It's been very widely reported that His Majesty the King wants to go ahead um, and 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 ask and once again ask Prince Andrew to vacate his current seat, to Royal Lodge. Because it's unknown how he um, will will pay the lease. It, it was very much agreed with uh, by uh, but back in the back in the day with Her Late Majesty the Queen that he will um, have a lease with Royal Lodge. It's reported that he had to sell his uh, Swiss his Swiss ski chalet in order to pay the legal fees 
for the settlement. But uh, it's very widely reported today that the king would much rather um, Prince Andrew move to a much more modest estate um, within the wind, a, a much more modest property within the Windsor estate, Frogmore Cottage, which is, of course, where uh, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle used to reside when they uh, were working members of the royal family in London. It, 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 that was their that was their seat. Um, but it's currently unknown how Prince Andrew um, will pay for the upkeep of Royal Lodge. He's now no longer a, a working member of the royal family. He also um, only has a small military pension to rely on. And Royal Lodge is extensive. It's a huge house. Um, so it's unknow unknown how he will keep uh, how he will keep up the upkeep for that and afford the lease on that house. So it's very widely reported that uh, His Majesty the King, King Charles, does not want Prince Andrew anywhere near the public face of the institution. He doesn't want Prince Andrew anywhere near uh, the, the public face of the crown and uh, wants him to reside in a much more modest property within the Windsor estate. It's interesting that you mentioned this because it almost seems that this him not being at the Royal Lodge has to do with not being able to pay those bills more so than uh, almost the royal family trying to completely detach themselves. Are, are you trying to get at that maybe they're still there supporting Andrew through all of this, just maybe not outwardly, so outwardly in public sort of thing? Well, they're not going to support Andrew in any sort of public role whatsoever. They would much rather him go out, go into the distance, go quietly. You know, that this is such a big scandal. This this risks bringing the entire monarchy into disrepute. So they don't want Andrew anywhere near any sort of public stage, any public realm. But saying that, as I said earlier, he's still a member of the family. He's still a relative. He is still the brother of His Majesty the King. He is still the uncle of the future King Prince William, a great uncle to Prince George. He, he I, I feel also the country, I think, also feels sorry for his daughters, Princess Beatrice and Princess Eugenie, because they have they 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 have had to also take a step back from the monarchy because of almost take a step back from the monarchy as well because of this and because of Prince Andrew's ties to Jeffrey Epstein. So they're not going to support Prince Andrew in, in, a, in a public sense and enable him to partake in any sort of royal duties, but he is still a member of the family. He's still a member of the private family. So what, you know, it, 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 and, and when it comes to Prince Andrew, not only does has Buckingham Palace denied all allegations of wrongdoing, Prince Andrew denies all allegations of wrongdoing, vehemently denies them, um, even in the settlement that he had with Virginia Dufre, that still he still doesn't um, admit to any guilt. He still doesn't admit to any wrongdoing, even in that settlement. There hasn't been um, any proof of any criminal wrongdoing within a court of law. And bearing and bearing in mind as well, an anti-monarchy pressure group uh, once again reported uh, Prince Andrew to the police. Um, and the Metropolitan Police in a statement today have said that there is no current investigation into claims with Prince Andrew. They, they, they do not at this stage intend to open any new investigation into Prince Andrew either. So, so when it comes to, you know, distancing the, uh, Prince Andrew on a public stage, yes, they, they want to detach themselves, but he is still very much a member of the family. And I think it would be unreasonable, particularly for his majesty the king. His majesty the king loves his brother. So I think it would be unreasonable for his majesty the king um, to completely cut ties with his younger brother whom he loves. I mean, bearing in mind this, he is still a son of her late majesty Queen Elizabeth. He is still a son of uh, the late the late Duke of Edinburgh, Prince Philip. So, so you know, he, he is still a member of the family. He was known as, uh, widely reported to be known as the Queen's favourite son, the Queen's favourite child. Um, so I think it would be unreasonable for the royal family to completely cut him off in a private capacity, 
but they're not going to be supporting Prince Andrew in any sort of public capacity whatsoever. I think after this, not just, I think the, the, the BBC interview with Emily Maitlis very much cemented the fact that afterwards it was such a scandal. He had to take a step back. He had to um, take a step back from being a working member of the royal family. The Queen painstakingly for her favourite child stripped him of, of most of his military honours, except um, the ones that he earned serving um, in the Falkland Islands, but um, privately, it, it would be unreasonable to expect them not to, you know, support a member of the family in which they love and bearing in mind a member of the family where nothing, no wrongdoing has been proven in a criminal court of law. So we've touched on a lot of topics here that I wanted you to address. Uh, thank you for being so thorough uh, because it's so it's so messy when we dive into this entire case. And the fact that you did mention that the Metropolitan Police releasing a statement saying that there is no active investigation. I kind of want to piggyback off of that, Josh, because where does this go from here? Is this the sort of thing where Prince Andrew's name is just in the spotlight right now? Give it time, it's going to go away. Or going forward, are we going to have to be on high alert? Is he and the royal family going to be on high alert? Because there may be another investigation coming. What do you think? Well, uh, listen, I think the royal family, uh, the, the royal family has always had a mindset from Her Late Majesty the Queen, reportedly never complain, never uh, never explain. Um, so I, I don't think they're going to continue to give this too much notice. This is going to be, for the working members of the royal family, this is very much going to be keep calm, carry on. You know, they distance themselves from Prince Andrew as much as they can do. You know, he is no longer a working member of the royal family. He only has a, a, a skeleton, minimal stuff. Off, uh, to help him undertake any sort of private work you know he's he's he he isn't on the public stage whatsoever in any sort of way and I, th I i think you know his majesty the king it's been it's been made crystal clear that there is no way going that that prince andrew can can step back into a work into uh this role as a working member of the royal family so i think that the, the, the i think until there is any sort of investigation, I don't necessarily think that um, the royal family need to be worried. They're not necessarily going to be on high alert. I, I, I would, I would think that they would keep an eye on things, and maybe the king might question Prince Andrew, going, "Where's the evidence here? What's going on? You, you, um, you know, what, what were you thinking?" But. I, I don't, it, it all kind of depends to see how the case itself develops. Will will there be fresh claims, unearthed claims, claims that we might not know about Prince Andrew in, in documents that are yet to be unsealed? That is the main question. I think it's, as again, it's important to state Prince Andrew denies any sort of criminal wrongdoing, any sort of wrongdoing whatsoever. Um, he even denies meeting Virginia Giuffre herself. Um, but that's the thing. I think the, in terms of the royal family, it's just going to be keep calm, carry on. Let's carry on with our royal engagements for the time being. Um, and Prince Andrew doesn't have a role at all on, on the public stage. So I think it, in terms of how they move forward, we'll wait to see what happens with Royal Lodge, whether or not Prince Andrew uh, can pay for it, whether or not His Majesty the King will get his wish, whether uh, Prince Andrew will be forced to move out of Frogmore Cottage um, and even retire further into a private um, into a private sphere, um, and and that's the thing. It, it's we'll, we'll monitor how this case develops. But as as we've seen with with the unsealing of all of these documents, nine hundred pages worth, you know, just because someone's mentioned in the documents, it doesn't necessarily the documents don't necessarily accuse people of any wrongdoing. Some some sometimes the names that are mentioned, for example. Um, you know, with the likes of Leonardo DiCaprio, it's simply, oh, they may or may not have met Epstein and Glenn Maxwell has uh, denied that they've ever met Epstein. So, you know, it, 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 it's it's all of that sort of thing. So I think the royal family will take this approach of keep calm, carry on, and we'll distance ourselves as much as uh, is possible on a public stage, whilst continuing to just be there for 
Prince Andrew in a private capacity as a family member, whilst also Buckingham Palace denying any sort of wrongdoing whatsoever when it comes to Prince Andrew's actions. And key words that you mentioned there, we're just going to continue to monitor this situation as it develops because we are waiting for more pages of these unsealed documents to finally be brought to light. Josh Rom, royal journalist and commentator, we appreciate your time here at Live Now from Fox. We rely on your expertise to see how this is, you know, shaking up the rest of the world. And uh, like I said, we're going to keep monitoring this. We hope to welcome you back. Any new developments, we'll be sure to keep in touch with you. Thank you so much for having me.